2002 and pretty much from that time from a marketing viewpoint we've tried pretty hard to do performance benchmarks for REL. The benchmarks do more than just measure the, the raw performance of a product. Um, for some benchmarks include a number of other criteria so you can say how fast is it but there's also how fast is it for a given price. So very typically the fastest benchmark is won by the person with the biggest checkbook because you can get the biggest system, uh, you can get the most memory, the most discs, the fastest hardware and it goes faster than anybody else. But for many customers that will be you know, a multi-million dollar investment which they don't want to make. What they really want to know is you know, what potentially would be the best value for money. Okay, so how can I get a cheap system which performs very well? Uh, we work with partners, we work with um, the engineering teams at Red Hat because performance is really um, embedded in the code that every developer has. It's in the patches, it's in the partners as they um, share new technologies, new hardware technologies, processor chip advancements. The CPU counts are increasing per die, so the ability of the operating system to use all those CPU resources is critical. The other side of the, of the coin is the inter internal value of, of benchmarks, and that is really to allow our engineering organization to really figure out how the products perform under very heavy stress. Typically a big benchmark will put our products under much greater stress than a customer environment ever would. We're seeing Linux and then also Red Hat Linux because of its ISV support um, essentially give customers real value. So the benchmarks are really only a metric to try to show a customer how well an operating system and a solution will work for their environment. There is a benchmark to fit every need. Um, and I sometimes say to customers they're rather like the school sports day in that everybody wins something. And if you choose your category nicely, you can end up with a winning environment. So for a customer, they need to figure out there's no point in looking at a huge benchmark when, they want this, when what they wish to purchase is a small system and vice versa. Right. So, so the customers have to really kind of understand what part of the market they're looking at, look at the benchmarks results which are audited on public websites, and then really choose a vendor that is a, uh, a consistent performer. It's that community, again, everything's done in an open source way. What you see is, is basically innovation from not just, you know, innovation from partners and vendors around the world.